Paul Hodkinson and Lennox Lewis. <laughs> Anyway, I've got some sweets to placate you, lads. If you think you're turning that, you brought the belt. Yeah, it's on me, Don. Brilliant. Give us a look at the old belt. It's not bad, is it? Now, what is this? The WBC title belt. You like to get a look at that? Look at that. And no man deserves it more. Well done. <laughs> now, you've read lots of stories in the paper that you were trying to keep as far away from your opponent as you possibly could because of you're going to get married and you wanted to be your little body to be unbruised. Well, uh, my family and my girlfriend warned me before the fight, you know, if I get bruised and battered up, they were going to keep me off the wedding pitches. So uh, I had to get it over as quick as possible. Yeah, you managed to stay out of trouble, and then you nearly killed him. Well, it was a early night for him. It was no, a good punch. Yeah, what they a, call a good punch. It was, a, one of, I think, one of the best punches I've ever told. He wouldn't have thought so. You nearly took his head off. It was a very hard punch, you know. But yeah. Could you feel it? Do you know when you really thrown one that yeah, good? Yeah, you know, I felt it right down. I took my arm, you know. You knew he was really finished to. then. I knew he was, well, it was, yeah, I knew he was finished. <laughs> yeah, and you're virtually unmarked. Hardly unmarked, really glow, you know. Aren't you? Everyone's happy. <laughs> Any tips for Lennox for, for tomorrow's fight? Yeah, just, well, I'm sure he knows what to do, you know. He might best, like a word or two of advice, for goodness <laughs> sake. Keep his hands up. Keep your hands up. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Keep I wish I can throw a good hook like he did. Yeah. Are you, would you, are you regarded as a big puncher? Sometimes. It depends who I'm in there against. Uh, you know, I seem to hit people when they go down. <laughs> you haven't put the two together and worked out how it works, really. But then no, you I just you I throw a punch and somebody falls down. I yeah. keep on surprising myself. <laughs> do you have different approaches to training? Let's have a look at your statistics. Do you know the way they do on grandstand and, and these and they do boxing? There, there seems to be what can only be described as a discrepancy between you, particularly in the matter of reach, and chest, and height. Yeah. So. Looking at those kind of differences, do you, do you train differently? Or is the training no, process the same? Boxing training is more or less the same. Well, what about the boxing itself, then? Is the boxing well, different? Well, I think these fellas punch a bit harder than we do. Well, I would have caught, well, no, they may not punch... I mean, you probably punch harder for your weight yeah. than he punches for his. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he throws a lot more punches than I do Isn't as well. Like, yeah. Because he can keep up same. a really fast pace. That's right, and you, you, you box, you tend to box on your toes. Well, the, the, the fellow weights, the lighter weights are a lot faster, you know, not more. Yeah, more well, of course, action, obviously. You know. But, but um, heavyweights tend to box feet on the ground so that they can throw maximum, maximum punch. Really, heavyweights, it's more about punch, isn't it? What about power? It is. Well, different heavyweights box differently. I consider myself a boxer mover. Yeah. Lovely little mover. Let's have a look. <laughs> we'll see you both in action, I think. Let's have a look at, at both Paul and Lennox. They've gone off at a fair pace. That's a good right, and a left, and he's got Cruz down. That's a good left hook from Hawkinson. Delayed action. Hard punch. Can Lewis get rid of him now? Down twice, Biggs. The second's ticking away in the third round. And everything coming at him. And over he goes for the third time, and the referee has stopped it. It's all over in the third round. Yeah, well, that was a good victory, Lennox, and a couple of good ones for you. Um, left or right, which is your harder punch? Yeah, I punch very hard in both hands. But yeah, you do, I've noticed. I think my right hand is slightly better. Yeah, Lennox, you're more okay. right hand. Yeah, more right hand. Yeah, now, you're hoping for a shot eventually at the heavyweight title. Here's our world champ at WBC. It'd be nice if we had another in the heavies. What, what do you think your chances are of getting a shot at a title fight? I think they're quite good. In fact, there's a lot of things that are in the making already. Um, the only thing that concerns me, there's a lot of political things that are involved. That's the problem, isn't it? I mean, there's a lot of, there's the WBO, there's the WBC, there's the IBF, there's all sorts of things, and, and three or four different organizations. And, and publicity's a lot to do. Now, for instance, it isn't outside the bounds of possibility that Frank Bruno could jump the queue ahead of you. Well, I don't think so. You know, I think, uh, Mickey Bluff is uh, telling, Bluff. <laughs> telling the people, telling people uh, a fallacy, but, uh, you know, anything can happen. Do you think Frank Bruno would fight shy of 
are fighting you? Well, he, he has mentioned that he would like to fight me, but at the moment, it doesn't seem like there's going to be a fight or if he's willing to fight me. Yeah. I mean, is there much rivalry between the two of you? No. You see, Frank is a guy that I look up to because he's reached a point where that I'm trying to reach, and he's been in that spot twice, and that's going boxing for the World Championship. So I'm hoping to get there. What do you think your chances will be against Evander Holyfield? I think they're quite good. I think I would, I would beat Evander Holyfield. Yeah. Angelo Dundee was it came up in the papers the other day and said you were one of the dirtiest fighters he's ever seen. You've always seemed such a clean cut, decent class of a man to me. So I'm saying that now because you're only about two yards away from me. But I mean, <laughs> you're a dirty fighter, he says. I think I boy, I don't think I don't think I'm a dirty fighter. I fail to see that I'm a dirty fighter. Yeah. Does it bother you that heavyweights get more money? Here you are, you're the world champ. Yeah, I mean, if if you were up boxing in the same town as Lennox. Mm. Probably Lennox would get the bigger oh, crowd. That's the way it works, you know, I think the heavyweight title is the richest prize in sport, like, but... Yeah. The, the lighter me. fights don't... Except yeah. in Belfast and Glasgow. Yeah, see, the, the little fellas seem to yeah. box a lot over there, like, but... Yes, when do you want to... Right? I can eat more, eat a lot more and film myself up to the heavyweight. <laughs> yeah, you could, yeah. We have something later on that we could stretch <laughs> you on. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you could have fought for Jamaica, you could have fought for Canada, uh, because you, and indeed you did fight for Canada in the Olympic Games, you won the gold medal. Why did you decide to have a pro career in Britain? Well, it's because I was born in Britain, in East London, and I decided, well, I could go to America and box and get lost in the hype and everything, but I decided on coming over here and boxing for a place I was born. This is where my brother lives and all my friends live. Mm. Are you relieved that uh, Mike Tyson's in jail and you don't have to fight him? Not really. It, it would have been nice to fight him. It would be nice to fight him. Yeah, because, <laughs> I mean, the man punches hard. That's unquestionable. But, you know, uh, Hollyfield is the main man I really want because of the fact that he's never been beaten. What about George Foreman? Would you, would you fight George Foreman? I would fight him. Uh, you know, he's, he's a man that has a great name behind him. Mm. What about you now? Would you like to be regarded by everybody? as the champ, not just WBC, but WBO, IBF, and all the rest. Well, How could you rationalize that? How many people are you going to have to fight to be the well, overall? The, the boxing magazines throughout America and throughout the world have You're got the me one. the number one, you know, so... Yeah. You're the guy they have to beat. I'm the guy they have to beat. Who are you most afraid of? No one. Him. <laughs> 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 no, in the featherweight division, you know, I'm, I fear no one, you know, I'm prepared to fight anyone. Nor should you, yeah. nor should you. Congratulations on your great fight and your world championship. Lennox? I hope that one day we'll see you pull on a belt you as will. the world champ. You will. You have no doubt. No doubt. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you both. I do.